The kids are really excited. They love the library, the cafeteria. Everything is just so big and clean and open. Um, it, it's like Christmas every day for them. And when I look at the building, I think about giving back because my father-in-law, he was always giving to every organization that walked in. He would give to schools. He sponsored the yearbook for several years at Alvin High School. And he was the pharmacist that would go out in the middle of the night. People would call, baby was sick. He'd meet them down at the drugstore and give them medicine. And so I had the privilege of working for him and being able to deliver to nursing homes and elderly shut-ins. And so his giving back was you know, a true testament to who he is. It's been fun to watch the school district start by honoring my mother-in-law, Betty, because she taught in this district for 25 or more years at Alvin Elementary, and then to go back and include Bob in the naming of the school because he was such an important part of the community as a, as a local pharmacist. So it's been really fun and, and a very strong honor for both of them and a well-deserved honor. My grandfather would pick us up from um, preschool and pre-K every day. We'd go back to their house and for the afternoon until our parents would pick us up and just got to spend, you know, every afternoon for two or three years with them uh, after pre-K and whatnot. So really enjoyed that time because, I mean, we were younger, but it was kind of more, I guess, foundational. Uh, as the young kids hanging out with them a lot. I think it's actually really, really cool uh, that it's named after um, my grandparents, Bob and Betty. Um, they were just such phenomenal grandparents, and so hopefully as their legacy lives on through the school, um, children will be able to grow and learn and thrive just how they cultivated that when we had our relationship with them growing up. My grandmother would come over to babysit me and she was so adamant that I would be reading so she would like write like the word, names of things and put them on post-it notes of like like lamp, dresser, chair, stuff like that. Well, I think she was very dedicated. I mean, I remember from as a kid, you know, her bringing home all the papers and, and sitting there and grading the papers and, you know, she taught English and language arts so it was, you know, reading the reading the papers and reading the poems and, and whatnot. So, I mean, I remember her doing that, like, it seemed like every night, but it may not have been every night. You know, you never expect to get anything out of community service. You do it for the good of your heart, to give back to your community and the place that you love, and just, you know, to kind of have a little bit of that recognition for a place that they love so much is, is really cool. We have faculty that can remember her, or teachers we've worked with that said, you know, she was my teacher, she was my teacher in this room, and that was at Alvin Elementary. So having her name on this building really shows that this building is an extension of Alvin Elementary and the history there. So every time, you know, I'll drive by here, I'll, I'll think of them, I'll think of, you know, their past here, how long they've been here, how much they love this community. So it's going to be pretty cool, you know, dropping by and just, you know, thinking about them, especially thinking about my grandma since she's no longer around. To just be able to know that there will always be a Nelson Elementary that I can come home to and um, hopefully one day I can come read to students or volunteer here is, is just really cool. You know, makes us really proud and really happy that my grandparents get to be remembered in this way for a really long time.